Just to follow up, we told you about Vigo County's court appointed special advocates, also known as CASA, and their need for volunteers. Today, 23 volunteers were sworn in to help aid the needs of abused and neglected children in the county. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn has more. It takes a special person to care for a child, and now that Ann Stamper's kids are older, it's a chance for her to give back to other children in the community. The CASA program has been something I've been thinking about becoming involved with for many years. There's just been a great need in Vigo County, and I'm very excited to hopefully, you know, help alleviate some of that that need. Joining Stamper are 22 other volunteers. These individuals are now court-appointed special advocates in Vigo County. And for new volunteer Angela Conwell, she's happy to be a voice for a child who needs it the most. I was always there for my kids and I had somebody there for me and I think all children should have someone that is looking out for their best interest. These individuals will help children who are trying to deal with difficult family situations. For director Nikki Furmeister, CASA gives volunteers a closer look at what is really going on in some parts of the community. There is so much abuse and neglect. We live our lives daily and we don't even realize what goes on with the other um, portion of the population here in Vigo County. The real work begins now for these volunteers and CASA organizers are already looking forward to the journey ahead. It's just really amazing that we've gotten this many volunteers to step up and it's, it's going to be an awesome ride, I think. In Vigo County with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Aaliyah Blackburn, News 10. A waiting list still stands for more than 100 children in need of a CASA volunteer. Vermeister hopes the amount of new volunteers will greatly reduce the number of kids in need. To find out more about how you can get involved, visit this story on our website WTHITV.com.